Hello my friends and welcome back to the Tarot Nose, long time no see. Okay, I'm going to, oh, so many readings to do. I'm going to just read into Megan Manson and see what the hell is going on with her. What's she doing with that humongous chin, making her look like Lord Farquhar out of Shrek. Good God, <laughs> what is she at? Um, So many things, guys. I want to look at the coronation. Was she invited? I don't think she ever was invited, but anyway... What's she going to do to upstage it? What about Archie's birthday? What did she do with the Lakers game? Was that intentional? Uh, was it spontaneous? Um, more inclined to think that it was uh, intentional because of what she is. Um, so firstly, I just want to thank you all so, so much. I, I can't thank you enough. Like the channel is still growing and that's phenomenal because I've been gone for so long. Please excuse my horrible hand. It's ugly. I think it'll always be a bit of a peculiar shape, but it's not sore, which is the main thing. And for anybody who's new here, you're very, very welcome. Please, if you like the videos, consider subscribing. It's free. Please like and share. And my friends, as always, please let loose in the comments. Well, I suppose within reason, we have to be careful what we say. I have got another series starting. I am behind on it. I'd hope to launch it this week, but it will come. Uh, I was going to read on the coronation first, but I'm too angry with Charles over the horse thing last night that I posted in my community. I'm also furious over that Markle's documentary. It was an absolute joke, but I'm sure they got paid well for it. There will be cards for us at the end. I got a few new decks and we'll jump in. So I'm going to pull an archetype first. I've shuffled these, as you saw, and I'm going to see what 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 is she now what what have we got who is this we see before us somebody who's trying to morph into Catherine I think so okay who is she at the moment oh my god the messiah oh my god you couldn't make this up Jesus Jesus literally okay well it come out reverse so the shadow attribute Exaggerated belief that you are the only means through which a cause can succeed. Well, now, never a truer word said. She thinks she is top of the world, the higher power, the light attribute, which doesn't exist in her, serving humanity with humility. Yeah, right. No, shadow attribute is 100% the Messiah. Trying to reinvent herself as purer than, I don't know, what. Doesn't, it's not going to happen. Never going to happen. Okay, so I'm going to use my trusty Old Faithful deck, my Fate Shifters Tarot, get back into the practice of things. And um, I might do, will I do questions or will I do, um, I'll do, I'll do a Celtic cross. Okay, so here we go. Was she invited to the coronation? That whole delay in their response, and it just was all, I don't know, it just didn't feel right to me. My spidey senses were screaming at me that she wasn't invited. Okay, was she invited? No. <laughs> oh, the joy, the joy. <laughs> the Ace of Wands, media. Wow. That to me is an absolute no, she was not invited. And that's what my gut said all along. And this is why I think they did reach out to the royals and they said, well, we will go to the coronation. You'll be lucky enough to have us if you give us this seating, that seating. You sing, we're on the balcony. You sing happy birthday to Archie. And most importantly, they wanted to MC the music acts because they're down with the youth. <laughs> Jesus Christ. She's older than me. <laughs> Could you nearly, what, tip in 46 now? Oh, that's just music to my ears. She definitely wasn't invited. And that's why they spun all this crap about con conditions. And, you know, because the stall was they were arguing to get her there. She, I mean, there was rumours that she said if Harry goes, she would divorce him. Like she's going to divorce him anyway. But that's another reading. I'm going to do that as a separate reading to see what's going on. But now he's going, I think he'll pull out. Honestly, I think he'll pull out, but we'll see. Right. The King of Wands, yeah. She had it all planned. She had her PR team all over it. This is our conditions. This is what, these are what we want 
God, it's, my mouth is broken. I'm out of practice. Sorry. I'm also very giddy. My spidey senses. I mean, my head is like a washing machine. It's just I have to write <laughs> continuously write down notes that are all over the place. So the King of Wands. Now, that can be somebody in the media who spun the whole crap that their conditions weren't being met, which is just preposterous. <laughs> Or it could be one of the royals. Let me see. King of the Qu I don't think it's a royal. I'm not I'm not getting that. I do think the royals put their foot down and said, no way. This is more like a media person on behalf of the royals and the media on her side, trying to thrash out some reason why she wasn't going. And then on the PR side, just saying, no, you can't have her here. It's too dangerous to have her there, regardless of any. The three of pentacles. Yeah, that's a team working together. It's just beautiful. <laughs> They worked so hard to try and pull this off and to try and cover up the fact that she wasn't invited, which actually worked. Very few people didn't suspect for a second that she wasn't invited. Unless I've missed that completely. It's so egotistical and it's selfish and it's uncooperative. So like she's so deluded, you know, this was her birthright to be there. She shouldn't have to do any work for it. You know, this is just her grandiosity, you know, what she believes. And this, ironically, is the church. You know, it's the teamwork guided by good faith and good intentions. It's a prominent building. It's not necessarily a church. I shouldn't say that, but it's, I mean, the prominent building. They can stay in Buckingham Palace. Um, The only reason they could stay in there is because they'd be watched like a hawk. And they're in danger. They're a danger to themselves and a danger to others. So nobody could get at them there. But that's a definite reading I need to do. I'm concerned about the coronation, danger-wise. Then again, Charles doesn't seem to be, so there's a reason for that too. Okay, try as they might, they couldn't get what they wanted. And that's just fantastic. Okay, in the past. The two of swords. The swords are all mental awareness, as you know. Upright, it's decisions. Not sure which way to go. The person is blindfolded. I, they're beyond that. The royals are beyond that. They went through a phase of not knowing what to do. Now they're firm. There's a, too much imbalance there. It can never be resolved. Not, certainly not between um, Prince William and Harry ever. And Duchess Catherine and rightly so. And the rest of the royals. But I mean, whether Charles is open to trusting his son again, I don't know. But he has to appear to be. But ironically, it would look much better if he wasn't. And they have their final shot now, the Harkles, because when William comes up, they're going to be history like annihilated, gone. So the two swords, there's too much gone on in the past. I think with the Queen's funeral and all that delay and she was drunk and there was arguments. And Harry, of course, blames the royals that he missed the passing of the Queen. Missed all of it because Meghan was being a tyrant. And that's why I thought, why on earth would she be allowed to the coronation? Thank God we won't have to see her. I mean, she looked baked at the last event. Fire damaged, so much makeup on. And nothing on her hands or feet. I, I couldn't look at that again. Jeez. She used to fire a makeup artist. The crying hairdresser, the makeup artist, she didn't fire them. But, but I suppose that's intentional too. She wants the public to shame her so that she's more whinging to do. Okay, so two cups, yeah. The, this is another side of it, the disharmony between these two as a couple, because they're trauma bonded, they're codependent, they're both as bad as each other. They fight like tinkers. They're violent. They can't have that going on. I mean, what would they do this time? Plus the fact that their marriage, I mean, good God, it's completely gone now, but she's still putting the strings over Harry. Ordering him to do this and do that. Um, the Six of Wands, defeat. I, I think she's feeling defeated here to a certain extent because really her plan, her, her end game is not working. It's not panning out to fleece the royals, take the kids and live happily ever after. Merching the Sussex brand. I mean, all of that. She really, really underestimated the royals. I mean, that card is outright failure when it's reversed. And that was an epic fail. <laughs> Oh, bless Megs. Okay, so the chariot, yeah. I mean, she's she's just so, this woman has no self-awareness or self-control. And that's because she's 12, as is Harry. They've never matured. They're just petulant children. I honestly think she would have got on a plane and crashed this event if she could have. But it's going to be a no-fly zone. She, would, she couldn't do it. You wouldn't get in through, you know, snipers everywhere and all the rest. 
But I will read on the coronation separately because I am concerned about it and I uh, I don't think Harry will go. But anyway, the chariot, she would have impulsively gone to see Charles if she could have. The Knight of Wands. Okay, somebody in the media stopped her. There is somebody advising her, you know, to cop on here. And he's a young guy. Could be a young girl as well, I suppose. I noticed one of her friends, I think, is working for her when they went to the Lakers the other day. That larger lady that was with her in Wimbledon, I think, is working with her. Like, what's she going to do at this party? You know, it's going to be old staff for Archie. We'll ask the question. But the Knight of Wands reversed. It can be good counsel or bad counsel. It'd be good press, bad press. She's desperately trying to get the good press back and look like she's in control of self and her future because she's a loose cannon, as everyone knows. OK, so the Knight of Wands reverse is also incredibly arrogant and it's setbacks, totally reckless. And this is where if the charity were reversed, it's somebody out of control. So I think somebody pulled her into check and stopped her literally flying. This is speedy travel, literally flying over to UK to get her invite. The Eight of Pentacles, usually hard work, castle in the background reversed. It's just outright laziness. The two is just their entitlement is off the scales. And we all know that she just doesn't think she has to work for any of this. It's her birthright. No work for fat rewards. That's what she expects. Always did. And got it from her daddy. Mad. <laughs> She's just mad, 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 mad as a cut snake. And I mean mad as an in insane. Uh, I know in America, mad is angry, um, but this this is just madness. So I always feel that there's a dual personality in the moon because we've got the, the sun and the moon together and the two here. And it's somebody really just following their own path regardless of when we're reading her, regardless of consequences and the two pillars here conscious and subconscious mind like extreme paranoia and delusions here so okay that's just an average day for Megan <laughs> oh god right so what what was this Lakers crap all about did she plan this did she set him up for this hang on one sec I have to get my coffee OK. OK, so did she set him up for this? Or was it spontaneous? Ooh. Oh, she's oh, she's not happy. She's weakening, though. Oh, yeah, she set him up for it. Yeah, she did. It's his punishment for being a bold boy and not getting her invited to the carnation. <laughs> Oh, man. She you know she has not got over the fact that she wasn't allowed by the Queen's side. This is the bereavement here. She totally set him up for that. She manifested it here. Oh, she's a bad bitch. Bad, bad bitch. Um, Because this card is, as I said, it's the bereavement. It's all doom and gloom. And the person is not seeing the two cups upright behind them. And this is very much so the victimhood. She has never gotten over the fact that she was not allowed by the queen's side only for aesthetics she doesn't actually care um but she it's the important element she wants but yeah she's she planned that she planned to go into the kissing box and then to reject harry oh he's a bigger clown why doesn't he see this but she's weakening here like the strength reversed is it's internal conflict like she's tormented lack of courage definitely not in her indecision Yes, I'd say she's undecided because she acts impulsively because she's 12, as I said. Like she doesn't know what to do. She's looking for, you know, she's she knows she's defeated here. We got the defeat card. So she's going to be working on her get out plan. So I was going to ask about Archie and this has come up. What's she going to do for Archie's birthday? We are going to see Archie, I'd say. Ten of Swords, disaster, absolute disaster. And the star <laughs> reverse. Oh, the poor fallen star. Poor Megsy. She's not as big as she thought she was. I think we will see something around Archie. But like she's going to have to rent a crowd. It'll be all her work crew again. Like I do feel Archie is real and he is with them. I do feel he's an adopted child. I feel so sorry for any child in their company, not to mention in their care. But thankfully... They would have very well-trained nannies that will follow proper protocol. 
and hopefully report any incidences that's been done before. So the Page of Pentacles, yes, we'll see some sort of furore around Archie. God love him being used just for media attention and to upstage the coronation, which you can't do. It's not possible. Ten of Swords reversed. This is the worst card in the deck in the minor arcana. But it's usually reaching the end of the road and it being only upwards from then on. But because this is reversed, they're not there yet. She hasn't accepted that this is over and this is not her destiny in the star here. Like this reminds me so much of the fallen rock star. You know, the aging rockers we see that, you know, still are trying to hang on to the last strand of hair and they're 75 and still rocking, you know. This is her. She will not accept that she's not leadership and to rule the world. You know, she's just crazy. Like she's not, she doesn't have any inspiration herself. And that's why she plagiarizes from everybody else. She's very, very frustrated that she's not being honored for how brilliant she is. But that's because she's not brilliant. She can't understand that you have to work to achieve. OK, so will we see Lilibet? Will we have a Lilibet there? Mm, no, there's a problem with Lilibet. The devil will boom, woohoo, there she is, scheming, scheming, scheming. Like these two really are a depiction of the devil now. They are, the bondage is here. They're chained together through trauma bonding, codependency, and just because they have a combined goal now to try and bring down the monarchy because of their jealousy. And that's going to be a problem because they're always going to be separate back together, separate back together, and maybe not even back together as a couple, but back together in terms of business and in their joint maliciousness. So that's worrying. We're always going to get mixed messages. But I mean, as a couple, no, they are not together. So the Page of Wands is it's definitely a problem with Lilibet. I'd say I believe that Tyler Perry did walk out of the christening. So all of that will be secret. We'll see the back of a child, but it'll be a different child again. And the Three of Swords. This is really, there's heartbreak here. I wouldn't so much see it as heartbreak in terms of those two, in terms of Manson and Locks, because they're not capable of it. But they feel very wronged about this child. And this would indicate to me that they had possibly gone to adopt a child and it was somehow revoked. Because, I mean, on this Three of Swords, which I love in this deck, I mean, there's so many people hurt. You can see the people on the mountain. They've hurt so many. And they don't care. Um, OK, well, I won't go any further than that. So our message is from heaven. This is the new deck. I'll see what it's like. Take control of the situation. We know you can do this. OK, so immediately somebody's reaching out to somebody who's going through a difficult situation which actually I am in court soon with my over my mother's estate we are proud of you and aware of your achievements that's oh that's a beautiful card I just love peacocks and owls I'm obsessed with owls I pull one more of these changes changes can bring you new life and energy and will hold your hand that's a nice beautiful image child and adult that's lovely so these two changes can bring you new life and take control of the situation. This is definitely somebody is letting somebody know that they're behind you in a difficult situation. And I'm going to take solace from that as well. We'll pull one of our other ones. I'm just a thought away. Love that. And I love to see the animals on these cards. So many animals departed and I'll pull an angel card. Now, these have quite long messages on them, so we'll see. This is a new deck. Innocence, beloved one, everyone is guiltless in truth, as no one can alter God's handiwork of perfection. Give us your feelings of heaviness so we can lighten your load. Give us any guilt, anger or blame that may shroud your loving outlook. Enjoy the peace within your heart once more. That's beautiful. Let go, let God. And I have to say, I'm not an overly religious person, but I have 
spoken to God very a lot very recently in terms of this court case and what's going on and my mother and it's just despicable greed. I pull one more uh, shaman's dream just because I love these cards. They're amazing. Winter's dream gestation period. Mm, that's a bit unusual at this time of the year. So how I would read that is that we have come out with gestation period. The winter's dream. It's a beautiful card. And we, it's time to move into taking action here and know that there are people behind you supporting you okay guys i'll leave it at that for now please do like subscribe share if you enjoyed this video and i'll see you again very soon bye for now